Hi, welcome back. As you can see, safety is our number one priority today. So make sure you get these goggles on. We're using some chemicals today, eh? and we're going to test some foods. This is part of the required practical for food testing. We're going to test some biscuits. We're going to test some pasta, some crisps, and some milk today in our food tests. We'll be using ethanol. Ethanol tests for fat. We mix it with water and it finds out if there is any fat. And the way we find that out is it uses um, the ethanol and water mix to create a white liquid, white residue, and we'll see that if there's any fat. We've got the Benedict solution, and with the Benedict, we'll mix that with hot water. Well, we'll not mix it with hot water. We'll put that in the uh, food and then put it in hot water, bring the temperature up, and that will, that will glow a nice orange um, and change to orange if there is any glucose present. We'll use the iodine, we all know iodine test for starch, and we'll find out if there's any starch, that'll go black, and we'll use the burette. Now, the burette will test for protein, and it will go a purpley colour if there is any protein present. So we're going to test these four, we're using these four chemicals, and I'm going to show you how. First of all, I'm going to test for starch. Starch is going to be tested through iodine. I'm going to take a drop of iodine on each one of my already prepared foods. As you can see, I'm using a spotting tile, just for ease of use. I can use a test tube, but for ease of use, I'm using a spotting tile. Now, if we have a look at these results, we call these results qualitative, not quantitative, because there is no number for the results. We are giving an opinion. And we can see that three of our test subjects, our test subjects, our test foods maybe, our um, crisp, our pasta and our biscuit all contain starch, but our milk doesn't. to test for fats and I'm going to use ethanol for fats and as you can see I've prepared in the test tube all my foods. I'm going to mix a little bit of water with this just to get it started okay and just to help that fat break down occur so we can witness it. So here we go drop of ethanol, drop of ethanol, drop of ethanol, drop of ethanol and we're going to mix them up and as you can see Got a bit of fat hair in the biscuit, a bit of, quite a lot of fat hair in the crisp, showing up. Not so much fat at all, hardly in the pasta. And the milk, we can't really tell, but it will separate, and there is some fat in the milk that we will find at a later time. You can also use filter paper to witness the presence of fat. Next on my uh, test of selection will be burette. I'm gonna test for protein with burette. Let me get that in there, give it a little shake and have a look for some protein in my food samples. Now, as we know, beer will go purple. Instantly we can see the milk has changed purple. The biscuit is not really giving us much purple. They're a tiny little faint part. Um, same with the crisp, a tiny little faint part of protein and very little with the pasta. Final test, I'm going to test for glucose. I'm going to put Benedict's solution into my food samples. Now I do aid this with a tiny bit of water. You don't have to, but I do. I choose to, a little bit of hot water, just to get things started. Help with the breakdown. And then what I do is I actually fill up my beaker with hot water from the kettle, boiling hot water, just to bring the temperature up to see if we do have any change. Now this could take some time, so give it a little mix, and in I pop, in I pop, in I pop, and in I pop. Now hopefully bringing that up to temperature should show an orange result where glucose is present. Okay, so after some time of leaving the solution in, we can see that there are some results. You can see that the biscuit has gone quite a yellowy orange here, uh, which is showing glucose. Crisp, very little change, but just a slight brighter colour. The milk has turned the Benedict solution uh, purple. Now you will notice some milks do show up some glucose, depending on obviously freshness of milk and what milk you've used, when you, how long has it been out of the fridge. So that could determine a little bit of that test there. And we have pasta here, which has very little change. So mainly the glucose solution in the biscuit. 
Thanks for watching and I hope that helps you with your GCSE practical and don't forget subscribe, click that button.